Here's Officer Larry again. I'm not gonna bring up any of the old details. Hi, Officer Larry, how you doing? Pretty good. Okay, see, now there's no reason for Larry to be calling a backup. He's calling him backup. Yeah, look how far away I am. See, I'm, I mean, I'm very, very far away, but he still called for backup anyways. Uh-oh, and the person in the car is screaming in pain, too. Apparently, they something going on here that's not, it's not right. They were very quick shutting the doors and getting those windows up when that uh, when that suspect or victim started to scream in pain. Clearly, they, they don't want me around here recording this. Um, the only thing left to see now is: Am I going to be free to go on my way? I'm certainly not interfering in any way. I'm just documenting these police. As it appears they were injuring the suspect, my guess is the handcuffs were probably too tight. How you doing? All right, how you doing? So, what we've got here, those two stripes on that officer's left shoulder, um, that signifies he's a training officer. I don't know who that officer is. Two stripes on that officer. That's Officer Lara. He's also a training officer. Uh, the short guy there, I just thought he almost looked familiar, but I'm not certain. If my buddy Catman was here, he could probably identify that guy. I don't know who he is. He's obviously on the juice, been um, shooting up steroids to enhance his workout routine. This is obviously what he's living out of a shopping cart. It looks like he's got himself quite a load of recyclables here. Unfortunately, by the time he gets out of jail, this shopping cart full of recyclables is going to be gone, as is his blanket and whatever, whatever personal property he may have had in the shopping cart. In the uh, previous video, I documented a homeless guy that was um, getting arrested, and for whatever reason, he was uh, screaming in pain. I'm assuming he was handcuffed too tightly. Um, and then also I uh, documented how he, uh, his, all his personal belongings were left on the street to, you know, to be whatever, to be blown away in the wind. All the recyclables he collected throughout the course of the day or who knows, maybe even the week. I don't know how long it took him to collect those. But his blankets that he uses to sleep at night, everything he owns was taken away from him. Um, now, when I was um, within about 15 or 20 minutes of making this video, I was arrested and uh, we had a little family reunion in the Torrance Police Booking Station. Officer Lara and uh, Tyrone Gribben and several officers who have been the um, uh, focus of my attention in my videos, you know, they arrived to, um, to express their satisfaction with my recording of them and my opinions of them. And uh, so I confronted Lara about about that guy about hey how come why did you leave that guy's property in the street if if I was to get arrested which I did you guys brought, you guys bring my property you book it into the property and and I come back and get it when you release me why did you guys leave that guy's stuff on the street there's response is well he should have had a stolen shopping cart okay if that guy is being arrested for having a stolen shopping cart why did Lara not take that shopping cart book it as evidence and return it to the rightful owner he just left it in the street so that's a bullshit excuse. And um, obviously, Lara is not fit to be a training officer uh, based on the way he's handcuffing people, causing pain to them. And also, also uh, you know, the incident with my ex-girlfriend, Wendy. Um, I'm gonna probably upload an interview related to that so you can hear from someone's mouth besides mine about how Lara treats people. Um, and more importantly, the city of Torrance is using him as a training officer, and this is what 
the city of Torrance is training their officers to do to people.